Hello and welcome to Miss Hannah Loves Grammar. In this video we'll be answering the question what are the rules for apostrophes with the plural of abbreviations, letters and numbers. Now if you ever wanted to start a fight amongst grammarians this is probably up there in the top 10 highly contested ideas for grammarians everywhere. That's because the plurals of abbreviations, letters and numbers can both be written using apostrophes and technically should not include apostrophes. So what is my answer to this question? Simply put, the only reason you should use an apostrophe for the plural of an abbreviation, letter or number should be if it would confuse your reader more if you didn't use an apostrophe. And on that basis, when I'm considering how an apostrophe would be used in this video, I am considering with you how you could do it. And then I caveat that, I hide that reality for you by reminding you that it's always your choice. If it wouldn't confuse your reader for you to remove the apostrophe from any of these plurals or abbreviations, letters and numbers, you shouldn't do it. So technically, any abbreviation letters or numbers, when we're considering their plural, all you need to do is add the apostrophe s to indicate that it's a plural. For example, there are two a's in accentuates. I'm referring to a, the letter, and I'm referring to more than one of the a. But to highlight, I'm talking about the letter a, not the word as, which would confuse the reader if I didn't have the apostrophe, that's why I include the apostrophe. Now moving on. They ordered 13 PCs for the office. Now this is one that you might not need an apostrophe for actually, but if I'm referring to personal computers, it proves that we're referring to personal computers, not something that ends in an S in an acronym or an abbreviation. So somebody might presume the acronym was PCS. And it's also referring to the reality that they don't belong to anyone in particular. Finally, hundreds of bargains to be won, but equally hundreds of bargains to be won with an apostrophe. Both of these examples are correct. And the reason for this is that it's not confusing for us if we remove the apostrophe. So in this instance, as with any, if you can avoid adding an apostrophe to the abbreviations or letters or numbers in questions, please don't add it. Because that is technically quite contested, highly argued, and could confuse clarity. It is only if it is totally unclear to your reader that you need to add an apostrophe. So you're making it clear that that letter or those numbers or that abbreviation is separate from the fact it's a plural. Now it's your turn. For each of the three sentences, consider if the sentence is accurate grammatically. And in particular, consider if the apostrophe for the use of the plural of the abbreviation, the numbers, or the letters, is particularly useful to heighten your understanding of what's going on in the sentence. Hit pause if you need thinking time. So, how did you get on? Both of his cars failed their MOTs. So, this is correct as it is. There's no need for an apostrophe. It's clear without the apostrophe that I'm referring to the vehicle insurance, or more importantly, the, the MOT. Now, if we move on to the next example, millions of people are enjoying this series. It's correct without an apostrophe, but it would also be correct with an apostrophe. If you were confused and the sentence had many numbers in it, you might choose to do that. But I'd also urge you, if you could, just to spell millions would probably be easier than using so many numbers in a sentence like this. Because then you don't have a question of plural or not. Finally, hmm, MPs fight for success. 
Now, this is a very unclear sentence and it's confusing for us. With the apostrophe there, I'm confused. Are we considering one MP or many? It has too many potential meanings with an apostrophe for us to fully understand. So I would question the use of the apostrophe here and I'd need more information in the written text that I'm given to understand if it's used accurately. Because bear in mind, in the singular, MP fights for success, that makes sense. So we don't even need the plural. But if it was the plural, MPs fight for success, well, I still don't need the apostrophe there. Fundamentally, the focus of using an apostrophe when you're considering abbreviations, numbers or letters in their plural form is only if the sentence is so confusing for the reader to understand without an apostrophe. So it's a last resort, not the thing you need to do. Why not subscribe to Miss Hannah Loves Grammar for all things English, literary and grammatical?